match from Hatchet Sons Polishing. I just put a brand new wheel on my grinder. It's a Zephyr product. I recommend Zephyr product just personally. Um, some people probably use some other products, but I've tried most of them and the Zephyr products tend to work best for me. So you're gonna want a grinder. These safety flanges right here. You gotta, you have to use those. They're made by Zephyr also. If you don't, you will tear the center out of the wheel and could possibly get hurt. So make sure you use the safety flanges. Don't use washers. Uh, Zephyr bars, bar ruses. I swear by them. They're a lot better, in my opinion. And you need a rake. This is to clean the wheel because you'll get aluminum buildup on the wheel, which I will show you during this video. But this is just, I'm gonna start out with this wheel for my cutting because I sanded the boat down. If you don't sand first, then you'd use a blue wheel and the black Zephyr Bar Rouge, which has a 320 grit sandpaper mixed in with it. I don't need to go that aggressive on this because I sanded it. But I'm gonna get my stuff on and start showing you how it's done. Always wear some kind of a face mask or respirator and eye protection. on there see some of that shiny silver stuff that's the aluminum buildup you got to get that off your wheel or it will cause scratches and it doesn't let your bar roots get down in the wheel properly that's where the rake comes in always use both feet on the rake if you don't it's going to go flying
whenever you're grinding, you always want to work with the edge of something facing you. So you're grinding with, towards the edge instead of, you're bringing the, the grinder towards the edge with your body, because the wheel's spinning this way. If you go to the edge, I'll show you what it does right here. It will jump up and you're liable to get hurt. So always go to the edge facing you. I'll show you up here right now what it'll do if you catch an edge. Like I said, always use your safety equipment, your safety flanges, your rake. Don't be skimpy on the bar rouge. It's only 10.50 a bar, so once you start noticing you have to apply pressure to the wheel in order to get it to do what you want it to do, you need to add more bar rouge and clean your wheel. You should never have to apply a whole lot of pressure on the wheel. Let the, let the machine, the wheel, and the ruse do the work for you. Don't fight with it. Let it do the work. I'm gonna walk you around our warehouse now and show you some of the other stuff that we have here. Um, 